Hey Pinksters and welcome to today's quick one-liner tutorial. So in this video I want to show you how to execute multiple lines in a single line of Python code from command line but also from the Python shell. So let's start with the Python shell. Say we have the following code snippet. Uh, this first we set variable x to the value 10 and then we iterate five times. So we have a simple for loop and the loop body consists of an if statement and some statement, some modification of the x value. Okay, so for example if x is um, an even value in this case, then we print the value of i. So it doesn't make sense, make a lot of sense as code snippet, but say we want we have this code snippet or you have any other code snippet and the result is here, like 0, 2, 4 in our case. Um, how can we one-linerize this code snippet? How can we make a one-liner out of it or run this in a single line of code, uh, of Python code? And first of all, let's have a look at um, how to one-linerize this in a single so in 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 the in the in the in the, sh in the Python script Python shell, and then if we know this, then we can easily um, execute this one-liner code snippet from outside, so from the Windows shell or from a terminal or so. And then you can also, I mean, with this method, it's general, it's a general method, and then you can ex basically execute every code snippet from outside. So even if it is multiple multiple lines from outside, from your shell, from your terminal with ex this exact method. Okay, so the method consists of the following. So basically we use the exec built-in Python function. It's a Python function that takes one argument, which is a string value. And this string value is the source code to be executed, to be evaluated by Python. And now you can, uh, actually you can take this whole thing Let's first copy and paste it here, and then we simply write this. Instead of having the real new line, um, we simply add a new line character with this backslash n. Okay, here now again we have a new line character after the for loop. Then we have a few empty spaces after the if statement. We have a new line character. Again, we have a few empty spaces after the print statement. We have a new line character, a few empty spaces. So, so we basically we just copy paste, we only replace the new line in our editor with a new line character so that we have a single line string value. So this way you can one-linerize every code snippet. And now we have, uh, basically we have already created a one-liner. It's like a brute force approach to, to create a one-liner. And you see that both lead to the same output. So we have the first one, uh, 0, 2, 4, and the second one, this is our exec function, 0, 2, 4. Uh, 4. And now we can basically use this. We just copy paste this. And now let's open the PowerShell. In Windows, it's the PowerShell. In Linux, it, it is the terminal. In uh, in Mac, it, Mac OS is also the terminal. So uh, it can be anything. It can be any um, any shell. And now we have we simply run Python minus C, and then within our uh, our double quotes, we basically copy paste the our one liner which we have just created with our exec function okay and now we simply hit enter and this is now from windows from our command line yeah so we can we can basically run every every single code snippet in our from windows okay so for from linux or from mac os so this works across all operating systems so we just take our one line here we use the command python minus c and with the with this exact trick you can run an, any complicated code snippet you can even write a script that automatically generates a one liner out of your um, out of your code file and you can run any any code in a single line of code this is very very um, useful for creating like small copy paste scripts that can be executed on any computer that has a python installed so therefore you can you can solve complicated ca tasks with these one liners you can cr like create a multiple line multi liner program and then that does some useful stuff like copying files or appending files or opening certain programs or so uh, certain um, um, order ordering of programs or so and then you can just um, copy your one liners with a single um, copy operation um, and put them into your PowerShell. So it's a very useful small tool to use this exec function. I hope you learned something out of it. If you love one liners and check out my book Python one liners. If you have enough from theory and you want to uh, get paid for learning 
Python, then you should consider starting as a Python freelancer on the side if you are a computer science student or an employee. Or so uh, you can already earn money as a Python freelancer and by doing this, you will become a better Python coder. So no matter your skill level, you can start as a Python freelancer on Upwork or Fiverr. Check out my free webinar, how to become a Python freelancer. I will give a link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.